Question number six says, an ideal gas in a cylinder is compressed very slowly to one-third its original volume while its temperature is held constant. The work required to accomplish this task is 64 joules. What is the change in the internal energy of the gas? And B, how much energy is transferred to the gas by heat in this process? So what I'd like to do is set up the general case and, uh, and solve everything from the general case. So the change of, of internal energy is equal to Q plus the work done on the gas. And so it's equal to the energy transferred by heat plus the work done on the system. Now recall that the internal energy of the system is equal to uh, 3 halves of the moles times the gas law constant times the temperature. And so the change of, of internal energy is equal to 3 halves of the moles times the gas law constant times the change of temperature. And so um, because 3 halves, uh, 3 halves R is equal to uh, the specific heat at constant volume, then, the, then we can say the change of internal energy is equal to N C V change of T. Now here's the catch. It says that the change of the temperature remains constant. So so change of T is equal to zero. And so the change of internal energy is equal to zero because it zero times anything makes it all zero. So part A asks what is the change of in, of in the internal energy of the gas the, the change is zero. Part B, on the other hand, asks how much energy is transferred to the gas by heat. So it wants us to solve for Q. Well, we can perform a little bit of algebra, and what we'll get is that Q is equal to the change of internal energy minus work. And that's the work done, uh, that's the work done on the on the uh, on the gas, so um, the negative of the work done on the gas is the work done on the environment. Now this is kind of a prelude. It says in the part in the question that the work required to to compress the gas, the work done on the gas, was 64 joules. So the work done on the environment, or the negative work, uh, is going to be equal to negative 64 joules. Okay, so um, we have, uh, we, we've already just said that delta U, so delta U is equal to zero, so we say that Q is equal to zero minus work, and so since um, minus work is equal to negative 64, Q is equal to zero minus 64. And so the point of this is, is whenever you're in an isothermal situation, the amount of energy transferred by heat is equal to the negative of the work done on the system and the change in internal energy is always equal to zero.